On Thursday, an undercover immigration and customs enforcement agent opened fire in a Nashville immigrant neighborhood after a man refused to show his ID. ICE spokesman Brian Cox claimed the man was attempting to assault agents, but surveillance video obtained by local news station NC5 shows Cox is lying and that at no point were any of the agents in any form of danger. Nashville Mayor David Briley says this is exactly what we don't want happening in our city. Brenda Perez of the grassroots group Movements Including X or Mix told Latino Rebels Radio, agents asking for ID approached three men outside the Antioch Food Lion, a well-known carpooling location for immigrants. Two of the men complied, but the third man exercised his right not to show ID without a proper warrant signed by a judge. Apparently, defying a direct order by an ICE agent has become a crime punishable by immediate execution. And one of the agents pulled his gun and fired several shots at the victim as he got into a van and drove away. The FBI has not filed any charges against the victim and says he poses no threat to the community despite Cox's attempts to smear him. Neither did ICE have a warrant for his arrest. They were just randomly targeting innocent people getting ready for work, completely unconcerned with the safety and well-being of the neighbors or their children. The ICE agent who was involved in this incident was one of two agents involved in a prior incident that occurred in July when ICE attempted to use Metro Nashville PD's presence to intimidate a father to leave his vehicle after he calmly and lawfully refused. The victim, who has three sons, spent several hours in hiding before surrendering himself to FBI agents at the Nashville hospital where he was seeking medical attention for the two gunshot wounds he suffered. A reminder, there's an entire population forced to live in the shadows under constant threat. And it's not just a few rogue agents. The entire agency has come under increased scrutiny for widespread abuses including targeting over 600 immigrants at a meatpacking plant in Mississippi last month and separating over 2,700 children from their parents this summer. How easily we've slipped from rounding up a few bad hombres to randomly shooting immigrants in the streets. If you found this information helpful, share it with a friend and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.